In this tutorial I'll show you how to add sound effects to an animation and how to render the animation and the sound to make a video file. Delete the default cube. Add mesh UV sphere. Change shading to smooth. Now I'm going to animate the sphere dropping. I'm going to use my rhyme. Go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. Go to frame 1, make change, if I go to the object properties of the sphere and I'm going to set the Z value to be 10 blender units. Make change, insert keyframe, right click, insert single keyframe. That's set up the first keyframe, now the second keyframe, go to frame, frame 20 make change, I'm going to set the Z value to be one blender unit and insert keyframe, right click, insert single keyframe rewind and play I'm going to change the 3D view window to a graph editor window and in the view menu I'm going to view all now this is a graph of the Z location of the sphere and by default Blender will slow the sphere down before it comes to a halt. Well, falling under gravity, it wouldn't do that. So I'm going to zoom back with the mouse wheel. I'm going to drag on a handle to alter the curve to give more continuous acceleration similar to gravity. Now if I go back to 3D view and press play, the fall of the sphere looks more natural. Set the total length of the animation to 100 frames. I'm going to add a ground plane, add mesh plane. To make an infinite ground plane, press S to scale followed by a very large number, 10,000 for instance. I'm dragging on the boundary between the windows to show all the properties window buttons. I'm clicking on the material button and I'm going to add a new material. I'm going to set the diffuse colour to be red. To make the sphere explode we have to add a particle system. I'm selecting the sphere in the outliner window. I'm clicking the particles button and I'm clicking the add a particle system button. By default it's an emitter. We're going to emit 100 particles. I'm going to start emitting at frame 20 and finish by frame 30 and our particles will have a lifetime of 100 frames and they'll have a velocity of 5 now when I click play the sphere drops and the particles are emitted next we add the explode modifier click the modifiers button Click Add Modifier, Explode. I'm going to tick Cut Edges, and when I press Play, the modifier breaks the sphere apart and attaches the pieces to the particles. When the fragments disappear, they are not dying, they are passing through the plane, and so you can't see them anymore. If you want the fragments to bounce off the plane, select the plane, click the Physics button, click the collision button, now the fragments will bounce off the plane, but now we need to do some more work to make the bouncing fragments look realistic. For speed and simplicity I'm just going to allow the fragments to pass through the plane. To add sound effects we need to go from the default layout to the video editing layout. In the layout there are two video sequence editor windows one in sequencer view the other in preview view now we're not going to add any video clips to preview so I'm going to change this window to a 3d view window zoom back with the mouse wheel drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view if I press play we can see our sphere falling The Add menu allows you to add sound files, image files and video files to the sequencer. Click Sound. Go to the folder where you have your sound effects. Select the sound effect 
and add sound strip. Dragging in the middle of the strip allows you to move it up and down the timeline. Clicking on the left handle and dragging allows you to left trim. Clicking on the right handle and dragging allows you to right trim. Now if you want to move the strip to the current frame, click in the middle and in the strip menu, snap strips. I'm going to call that the end of part one of the tutorial. I'll finish off in part two.